Not too long ago, I remapped my fuel from 91 octane to E85 with 034 Motorsport. But wait, I didn't install an ethanol fuel content sensor. You're watching Midlife Mods. So I get a ton of comments on my videos asking me, why didn't you install a fuel sensor? Aren't you worried? Trust the fuel at the pump, but they can legally go down to 50% ethanol, etc., etc. So my logic is this. Almost all the E85 fuel in my area is provided by a single supplier, Pearson Fuels. So my logic is, do I really need a sensor if all the fuel is coming from the same supplier? In theory, all the pumps in my area are gonna be giving me the same fuel. So if one pump is low on ethanol, they're all gonna be low on ethanol? And if they're low and my engine gets messed up, I'll take it up with Pearson, right? But I'm curious, how close to E85 is the fuel at the pumps in my area? So I'm gonna go to all the pumps in my area and test the fuel to see what the variances are. How will I test it? Yeah, that, that seems about right. I bought this ethanol content tester off of Amazon for $12.95. It has great reviews, but let's see how accurate it is. This is a Chevron station in Simi Valley that's advertising E85. So let's test it and see what the ethanol content actually is. So here's how this ethanol content sensor works. You have to fill it up with water to the water fill line, the blue line first and then you fill it with the fuel that you're testing and you shake the bottle for a few seconds and then let it sit for a couple of minutes and the fuel and the water separate to show you how much fuel content is in it. Now I know some of you are gonna ask, how do you know it's accurate? Well, I calibrated it with 91 octane fuel to start and it is accurate. It showed that there was like 10% ethanol or something in the 91 octane, so it does work. All right, so it looks like this Chevron station is right where we wanna be. You can see the separation of the water and the fuel is right about at the E85 line so so far so good at the first gas station we're right at the mark okay so i'm here at a 76 station in simi valley that says they're selling e85 flex fuel for 2.99 a gallon now most of the stations here in california advertise pearson's fuel it doesn't say pearson so i'm wondering if this is a 76 specific product so let's fill the tester up and see what it tells us So the tester has settled for a bit. It is saying that it is at E90. So this is definitely better than E85. It's almost at E90. So we are getting proper E85 fuel from this 76 station. Nice work, 76. I'm here at the next gas station. It is an Arco station. They just recently installed these E85 pumps here at this Arco station. So I'm curious to see what the quality of their fuel is. Let's find out. I underfilled it a little bit, but we're right at E85. Now I'm at a 76 station here in Moore Park, California, which is offering E85 flex fuel. Let's test it out and see what the content is. All right, so this one tested pretty good. It's right at the E85 line. So this is the 76 station in Moore Park, California. So far, we're looking pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about not having this ethanol sensor on my car. So far, the gas all around here is really consistent. On to the next station. All right, I'm here at another Chevron station. This one is also located in Moore Park, California, and they offer Pearson's E85. Let's test it and see what the ethanol content is. Here we go. The tester is ready. Again, this one is also at E85. We're having great luck or great success, I should say. A great success. Here in Ventura County area. So another E85 station, this time Chevron in Moore Park. So there you have it. Now you know what all the gas stations in my area are offering. 
If you're storing extra E85 fuel, remember it can lose its effectiveness if it sits too long. Kind of like me. It can last years or it can go bad in as little as three months. Its longevity depends on a lot of factors, including moisture content in the air and how well it's sealed in the container. But please be sure to dispose of unwanted fuel responsibly. Should I have installed an ethanol content sensor? I mean, maybe, but that's pretty boring, isn't it? It's so much more exciting to go around town wondering if your engine's gonna blow up, am I right? Tell me what you think in the comments below, and thank you for watching Midlife Mods. Woo!